Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Valerie Ortiz. With the stroke of a paintbrush, a lot of ganas, and the help and support of his community, Levy Ponce is changing the way Los Angeles looks, one wall at a time. Capturing the essence of his neighborhood of Pocoima, this proud Latino artist is quickly becoming one of the most relevant muralists in the world of street art. So how does a street artist balance the spirit of his barrio with the color of his visions? Well, we're gonna find out right now. Check it out. Brought to you by State Farm. For auto, home, life, and banking, get to a better state. It's exciting times here in the city of Los Angeles where uh, what we call the mural moratorium being lifted. We now can paint murals legally here. So I look forward to seeing Los Angeles grow and become once again the mural capital of the world. The thing about painting in the streets is that it exposes everybody to the art, you know what I mean? A lot of the people in the places that I paint can't afford to get to museums or don't live near any museums. So I try and bring art to them. My name is Levi Ponce, Levi Ponce, and I'm a muralist here in Pacoima, California. When I started painting, it was all illegal, but I felt out here in Pacoima, we're so far from LA, you know, in a little town that I could get away with it. And I did, you know. Um, besides, the community loved my work from the get-go. From day one, I believe my first mural was of Danny Trejo, and Danny Trejo came out and he loved it. So to have that much support from a community, you know, made me feel invincible. And I just kept going and kept going and kept going. And I never had any concern for what the law said. I felt that the community embraced my work, and if the community embraced it, I didn't, I didn't fear the law. The subjects I paint are, are really just inspired by the neighborhood in which the murals, you know, lie. Um, it's, the, it's the communities that inspire me. Um, for example, here I call this the Pacoima Neighborhood Mural. You'll see a lot of imagery of things that I saw growing up. Some of those things are great and some of those things aren't so great, but I put them up there anyways, you know, to bring attention to those, to those issues. I find that a lot of the artists here, especially in the, in the areas that I paint, have no stage to perform on really. They have this incredible art, they have all this energy, but they have nowhere to release it. So they find themselves out in late hours in dark alleys, you know, letting all that out. So I try and provide, you know, a, a different route. I try and provide a stage for them to perform on. Um, and, and it's a beautiful thing really. I mean, it doesn't cost me anything. I'm already out here painting. I appreciate the help and the support. And I find that it really makes their day, if not their week, and it sometimes even changes lives. I mean, I ha I've seen it keep people off drugs. I've seen it keep people out of jail. Why? Because they love the art so much and they want to be involved. So they're out here, they stay straight, they stay sober, and they paint. It's a beautiful thing. Um, that art does for people and to bring it into a community space where everybody's welcome. I mean, everybody loves art. Old, young, teenagers, cool, not cool, you know, you name it, everybody's into art. So it's a common pivot point for the community and that's all I do. I just use it to bring everybody together, get everybody to know each other and it really ties the community together, an immediate community. Most of the work goes on behind the scene. You got to deal with, you know, not only the business owners, but the local community, the local gangs, the local, you know, local tagging crews, politics. You, you deal with it all. And that's all before you even get to touch the wall. So painting a mural is kind of a big mountain to climb, but it, the view is really nice from up top, I'll tell you that. 